All right, looky who, right here, the trio. This is this is it. This is it. Look who's here, Chandler Massey. I haven't talked to him in how many years has it been, Chandler? Seventeen. Seventeen years since I've talked to him. Freddie. Yep. Look at Freddie all here by himself. I'm, yeah, I've, <laughs> as it should be. They've been fighting over me the entire uh, day. <laughs> they, and, and, and Chris, is this correct? You've never all done interviews together, or am I? Or has there been? No, we've never actually done a group interview. We've hung out in the jacuzzi, but never actually like talked <laughs> as a group. Been jacuzzi talk, yeah. but not yeah, jacuzzi <laughs> nightly yeah. jacuzzi talk. Nightly jacuzzi talk. It was recorded. It just wasn't published. Yeah. It's not been published yet, yeah. but look for it. Soon. <laughs> all right. So bringing this back, Will's alive. We finally got to that point. It's not going well right now, but Will's alive. Will is alive, but he's not really Will, I guess. So um, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, how Sonny handles that when you look at someone that you love and they look back at you and like, who the heck are you? Yeah. So you decided to come back today. They lured you back today. Yes. Was it like the story? Was that part of the reason? It was the it was the, it was the timing uh, and the story. Yeah. Right. And and also just that I, I was I always hoped, especially after Will died, that there would be like a chance to come back because I feel like the story wasn't over. Well, you were mortified when they killed the character. Yeah. But we all we were all pretty upset. mortified. Yeah. It was so it was very upsetting. Those were those were a dark couple of days surrounding that. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And so when he comes back, this is major. Well, people have been saying poor Paul. Yeah, poor Paul. Hashtag poor Paul. Um, hashtag let's get rid of this guy. Uh, I, I hear there's a huge trending right now. This guy or this guy? No, never. Look at this pin. This is no, no, what I'm no, about. No, no, look at this pin. Look at this pin. <laughs> you, this is deranged Paul. But this is a John, sick, this you know. deranged Paul pin. pin. Right, see it. I'm just staying neutral, and I'm going to see you. they have to fight for me. I, I'm trying to champion, uh, you know, Paul and Sonny, and I think it's happening. I'm really, I'm really aware that there's a huge over influx I'm for not Paul. Feeling that that's <laughs> what's. Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling something else. Yeah, I'm getting a different I'm sense. I'm feeling well. a different thing, and I'm feeling. And Will's got a bit of a tude attitude. Yes, he does. Do you not agree? He's he's always had a bit of a tude, but yeah. it's and, and it hasn't. It's only grown with age. <laughs> You know, <laughs> is that a moment, like a period where you were like super chill? Yeah. But you're right. You've always been a little bit aggressive. Yeah. But now I feel out. what fiends are people are going to see coming up is very interesting. Uh, absolutely. We should hold on to our. It's a roller coaster. Yeah. Hold on to your butts. Yeah. Hold on to your butts. <laughs> yeah. You know, it gets really, really good, really exciting. The writing just takes us all in this adventure that we, that we just. For me, I just feel terrible all around for for Paul. And then what happens to everyone, oh, man, you, get, you just have to watch. Yeah. yeah. So what's been the most, you came back, yeah. and your, when you taped your first scenes, yeah. who were they with? Um, my first scenes were with Brian, with Lucas. Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, where I appear as a ghostly vision. You're like, how am I supposed to do this? Yeah, exactly. Right? I was like, I, like who, uh, I'm thinking, who is Will in Lucas's drunk mind? What, you know, and, and I, I was like, probably very righteous and supportive and upright and, and then now I get to think like, who is Will when he doesn't know who that he's Will? You know what I mean? All these different wills to play. It's it's fun, fun yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. And, a will, a will. and how's it been back with Chandler? It's well, you're been not really back with Chandler. Yeah. Yeah. No, but it's, it's working with Chandler. It's been it's been amazing. I think one of my, my favorite things that, uh, is is the the chemistry and trust that we have, but then to see him play that he doesn't remember anything we've ever done together. So I think that's I think people are gonna want to see that like that oh uh, and they're gonna have to wait for the oh uh. it gets so complicated though it gets very complicated so when they said you're gonna have amnesia yes were you like how the hell am I gonna do or were you like great I, I don't know I was how like how the hell am I gonna do that you know because I was already kind of nervous of coming but but actually it was a great opportunity because I was able to kind of start from scratch, you know, come back like a fresh start, rebuild the, like a, the, you know, a, amazing relationship from the ground up, start, you know, potentially like explore like a new relationship. Uh, it was but really But let's cool. not forget uh, that Will slept with Paul. Yeah, um, but that was Paul's fault. Yeah, it was no. definitely, definitely <laughs> Will's fault. It was, that's not, yeah. how I, that's not how I remember it. <laughs> yeah. I don't, he's got amnesia. He doesn't remember yeah. it, right? But Paul remembers. Paul remembers all of it. But that's rule, why he punched him. The rule is if you don't remember it, it never happens. I, I disagree. Because okay. if Paul didn't say anything, 
about Will's alive. Not well, Paul was going to hide it at first. He was. He was. And then he did the strike. He was being sneaky. And that was a domino effect. Everyone's hurt. So that's why Paul's pretty was. sneaky too. Will's very sneaky. But 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 he doesn't he doesn't feel any remorse about it. See Paul, he, he's being sneaky, but then he's like, oh, I, like I feel bad. That's not the way to go. You got to be pure sneak and own the sneak. How great were the scenes between Sunny uh, Sun and Paul before the wedding? And the, the conflict between you were still feeling like you were betraying Will. Really great work between the two of you. I thought those were great. That is, um, I really enjoy it. Every now and then you get just like that kind of day where you just get dialogue. And there's not much, you're just sitting and talking. And it was really nice. And, and it's been brought up a lot lately. And I actually think that's gonna what I'm going to use to um, submit for the Emmy. It's been really well received. I felt great doing it. Um, so I think I'm going to use that. It's just really nice. It's just two people talking. I love that. Are you going to submit for the Emmys? You got stuff. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I'm just going to not going to. I only got like a month, like a solid month of airing, if but. If, if, no. Okay, let's just let's just talk. Is it guaranteed? Win? Yeah, no, yeah, no, no, yeah. No, no. Let's talk. Is, is, is it three times? I won the, the year you the first year that you didn't submit. Yo, know, that's, that's because the, that that's the. That was the yeah, first year. Yeah. That was the first year I was like, I'm You're not out gonna, of the I'm, running. Well, <laughs> uh, it was the first year I was like, I'm not going to bribe the judges this time. I'm going to let them like, I'm going to let it be fair. Yeah. yeah. Are you going to do supporting or lead? I guess I, I'm not supporting, right? It's got to be supporting. Are you going to do lead? I'm going to do the opposite of whatever he does. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm going to do youth, uh, 25 <laughs> and under. Uh, 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 oh, you're yeah, going to be yeah, younger, yeah. Youth, lead, supporting, lead, supporting, or vice versa. Yeah. So this will yeah. be I'm actually. I'm, I'm going to submit. This is the plan. This yeah. is going to work. I'm going to do a technical. I'm going to do te technical do a Emmy. Tech Emmy. Yeah. <laughs> hair, 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 hair styling. Do hair. Okay. Special so hair and makeup. Place. He's going to nominate himself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll do editing. I'll do editing. The technical stuff. I'll do the editing. Yeah. Perfect. Oh. Who's the more empathetic character in all of this drama? Do you think? Empathetic? Yeah. Do you feel? I think Paul. I think we, I think Paul, guys. Yeah. Poor Paul. Yeah, oh. he feels a lot. No, but I think the empathy is to Paul because oh. this guy feels this, this guy doesn't know what. Yeah, 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 yeah it's poor Paul. But it's also like really. <laughs> oh, I mean, wow, 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 My whole life is crumbling before my eyes. <laughs> Who cares, right? You know, that kind of thing. <laughs> how was working with Eileen Davidson as Susan? And did you not laugh? Or how did you do it? Let's oh, talk it, about that. It, so, it, you know what's amazing is that her character is so larger than life and so strange, you know what I mean? But so, like, perfectly crafted and, and performed that it's almost like... It's like a weird blend of, like, comedy and drama. Like, it's like it's, she walks that line extremely well you know what i mean i'm not going like over two but like still keeping like so weird interesting so it's really cool and you held your own without breaking up laughing. no no i definitely broke and laughed like no. more, more than more than a few yeah. times I didn't, yeah. even know, I didn't know it was her like our rehearsal when i saw her come out was the first time i didn't even know it was her because i didn't see her in the makeup yeah, room yeah, or yeah, i didn't yeah. know and i was just like so rehearsal i was like what the heck and then um <laughs> but then what? I, but then i i didn't you know it helped that my character really didn't care for her so it helps not like break when you don't you know if you really like someone and they're funny it's like you're naturally like oh god but then that we also need to like move and and be professional so i think the whole like laughing thing we almost we almost i'm glad we got over that for the for the first time in a long time him and i in rehearsal christopher and i um in our room was like where we're laughing and i was like freddie like get out of your head here because if if we laugh if we laugh like on on there and we're moving quick like you can't laugh so um, but we, we rocked it. We went straight to tape. We're, we're part of the straight to tape gang. The this is the straight to tape gang, the trio. Yeah, actually, no, like we're, are you known as that? Yeah. No, like they really are like, like when, when we're running behind, like the, the, the producer always like, hey, you know, straight to tape, straight, straight to, tape. to tape. So we love it because it, it allows us to be super natural with one take in the sense of like, let's let it all out because this is right, right to tape. And you kind of like, it's, you get yeah. some really cool right. moments. And it's also the first time you're 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 doing it. You know, you say you, you get a rehearsal, then you tape. It's, there's sort of a familiarity of, of going. But I kind of like the awkwardness of stumbling, not stumbling, but like experiencing the lines for the, the first time. time. Well, they're wrapping me up, so we'll have to continue this three straight to tape group. Tape. <laughs> yes. Tape. All right. Thank you, Christopher thank you. Chandler. Welcome back, thank you. Freddie. Always a pleasure. Watch them on Days of Our Lives weekdays on NBC.